Mm. Another red, just slightly off target from John, but I don't know if there's a red available to the left middle. Went all out for it. Now he's having to play this one, and this is tricky. Well, but what a good pop it was. Come nicely on the blue. Now, does he take the opportunity to take the ball by the horns and play the aggressive shot into the pack with pace? Decided against it. That's okay. Got a choice Six. of two reds into the right corner. Play this red to the right middle and still hold for the 14. black. Fifteen. As I say, that red immediately above the black is available into the same pocket as the black. You see it. Not playing for it now, playing for the red to the middle. But he'll certainly be thinking in the next couple of shots how he can 22. bring more reds into play. This has been an excellent match, full of quality. Between two of the game's brightest stars. Played that very nicely to leave himself an angle to pop this red and disturb other reds. 30. He's playing it with top spin. 31. Mm. Yeah, I always preferred to play the screw there. I just felt as though I always had a bit more control because you're never certain how it's going to run off the, the second red. And he didn't really bring many balls into play. Tough shot this now, digging down slightly. Oh, but a good one. A good one. Excellent. Thirty-eight. They're certainly treating us both players this morning to some quality snooker pots and positional play. Another 31 points required from this situation, so he's not going to do it without opening the reds. As John Higgins looks on, nothing he can do. The last frame, he just went for a long red, missed it, and did the same here. It's that final line between success and failure. Well, that's unfortunate, that's gone wrong. Forty-six. I'm sure he'd be tempted to play this to the far right corner pocket. There's an element of safety, but he needs it in. He needs it in. <laughs> Wonderful shot. He wants to keep going, and he wants to keep winning frames at one visit. That's what puts pressure on your opponent. Mm. He just didn't put that black in the middle of the pocket. <coughs> That's why he's 54. not perfect on this red to either the far corner or the middle. You'd, you'd think the middle. He just did the black on the wrong side of the pocket. If it is in the middle of the pocket, funnily enough, I think he'd have been nicely on this red. And he feels that he got a bad contact there, John, on the black. That's why he had the cue ball cleaned. And that's well played. 55. And I'm sure that there's a part of John Higgins that thinks, what is this man made of? I've thrown everything at him this morning, including the kitchen sink, and he's come back really strong. Mm. We know that red's loose at the 
bottom of that cluster, but I don't see how he can get there. Obviously, he could play for the one along the top cushion. Does he want to risk playing for this? Well, I'm not quite certain what he's played for there. I think he played for the red into the right centre, John. He just lost the cue ball a little bit. So this is a really tough pot. Red, black, red is all that's required, but it should have been easier than this. Another tremendous pot. And the foot on the red has put him on the black. But after this black, he's looking for one more red. Can he get on one? This to go 70 points in front, but 75 still remaining. Desperately looking for a plant. Just thin enough 70. on the black that he couldn't really get into them. 70 points the lead, 75 remaining. It's not over yet. He'll be tempted to play the double with a degree of safety, but the right shot really is to put the red behind the black. Well. Mark Allen, 70. <laughs> Didn't play that as well as he would have liked, but a fantastic and wonderful contribution from Mark Allen there under the most extreme pressure. Well, that red that Mark's just missed would have been frame ball. So maybe a chance here for a counter-attack. Tough red to start with. I didn't expect him to miss that, the way he's been potting the last couple of frames. John Higgins can get past the brown. Dropped it in beautifully. One. So, chance for the counter attack. He's got a few points to play with, not a lot. Came to the table 70 points behind, 75 remaining. Well, John, if there was one player that you had to put your life on, making a clearance under pressure to win a frame, it almost certainly would Six. be John Higgins. But he's just lost the cue ball a little bit there. He won't be too happy with that. There you see, having taken the blue, there's now only 67 remaining, so he's not a lot of points to play with. He wants to be straighter on this red, of course. Seven. The only problem ball you can see is the one that's tight to the top cushion. And if it is tight, 14. it might not be too big a problem. Yes, Mark 15. Allen will be fearing the worst here. Because John Higgins has cleared up to win crucial frames hundreds of times in his career. Twenty-two. Anybody, please? Sure. Twenty-three. Just want to be too straight on this black. He'd like to play for the red that's just below the pink. It definitely goes to the right corner. What sort of an angle has he got? Mm, not much of one. So he may have to play for the red along the top cushion now.
If these are tight to the cushion, you don't fancy 30. missing it. If it's just off, it's tricky. I don't fancy you missing this. Yeah, it was tight to the cushion, and he's finished absolutely perfect on the black. And because he's taken black so off the last few reds, he's had a quick look at the scoreboard. 32 points behind. He 38. can afford to go red-blue or red-pink, whichever he feels will give him better position on the yellow. Deciding red-pink. And Mark Allen can see this frame slipping away. So the six colours to go back to two frames in front. But more importantly, 45. what a body blow. Mark Allen in first, break of 70. John Higgins has a chance to clear up. So pinch it on the black. Forty-seven. John Higgins has done this so many times in his professional career. And he seems to do it when the pressure is at its greatest. And that's one of the hallmarks of an outstanding champion. 54. And he's been one of the greatest we've ever seen. He's landed perfect on the blue. He can haul for the pink. And pink and 59. black. 59 to clear up with 72 against the 70 that Mark Allen made previous. 65. Superb, superb, clinical, absolutely brilliant. Superb rate from Mark Allen, made the 70, just couldn't get that one ready needed. And then he had a long pot, missed it, John Higgins then cleared up, as only John Higgins can do.